Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Purito Daily Soft Touch Sunscreen SPF 50. This product retails for $21.50. So this is a very delayed review. I apologize for that. I always forget when I'm ordering Korean skincare that it does take a little while to get here, but it finally got here and I'm beyond excited to try this. When I saw that this product was new and it just got released whenever I first ordered it, I was beyond excited because I haven't actually tried the new Purito formula because it does have titanium dioxide in it and I'm personally sensitive to that sunscreen filter but this product from what I can see is a Korean based chemical sunscreen which I love Korean sunscreens. Purito had to take their original sunscreen off the market that works so well for so many people because there was a whole controversy surrounding sunscreens especially Korean based sunscreens and the level of protection that they did deliver and so they just took them off the market and started reformulating their sunscreen and so far they've released two and the ingredients in this product look very promising. This product is vegan, cruelty free, fragrance free, alcohol free and comes in recyclable packaging. Purito has formulated this product with so many great ingredients. To check out the full ingredient list make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. What I love about Purito is that they include great ingredients such as ceramides and centella extract. So many great ingredients that I have been able to use and that has worked great for me. Purito is one of my favorite and in my opinion, one of the best skincare brands of all time. I've loved so many of their products and I don't think I've tried any of them on this channel, which is surprising to me because I love this brand so much. Going into a sunscreen review though, there are a few things I'm specifically looking for. Now I have done a spot test of this and since it is a Korean chemical based sunscreen I don't see any white cast so that's not really something I'm looking for. I do want to see though what kind of finish it leaves on the skin. That's always a big thing I look for with sunscreens because sometimes they can leave a very greasy or overly hydrating finish to the skin but other times they can leave a very nice finish. I'm hopeful that this product will do that. Another thing I'll be looking for is does this product cause any acne. A lot of times sunscreens can clog my pores and cause acne and so that would just be another big thing I'm looking for. I also just want to see what sun protection it does give to my skin. You do need to reapply sunscreen every two hours if possible. I struggle with that so much. As for anything else, I will be continuing to do check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. So I've been using it for three days and and I've been loving this sunscreen so far. It does say it's supposed to leave more of a matte finish on the skin and I don't really see that. I don't feel like it's a hydrating sunscreen but I also don't feel like it's an overly matte sunscreen. Now I do feel like you are able to kind of control the finish that you want with it. For instance I went in with a little bit of a heavier moisturizer and I've been doing that since I've been using this product and it's been giving a fairly neutral finish. It's not too suffocating or hydrating but it's also not matte. I don't like matte sunscreens and so I do enjoy that you are kind of able to control the type of finish you get with this product. Even though it claims to be a matte sunscreen, I don't really get that from this. Now I have tried the original Centella sunscreen that got discontinued and in my opinion I feel like this is very close to the texture of that, if not just even a little bit more lightweight. This is the sunscreen right here and since it's a chemical filter sunscreen, it just blends in like nothing. It's really nice. And I don't know if you can tell, but it definitely has a little bit more of a hydrating finish. Now it does dry down to be kind of neutral. Like it's not drying or matte, but it does have a little bit of hydration to it. Not anything too suffocating. So I am gonna do the three finger technique with this and the reapplication of this sunscreen is beautiful. I love how easy it is to reapply. And you can see it starts off very hydrating and very dewy, 
but it definitely dries down really nice. I feel like it is also because of the moisturizer that I went in beforehand with. If you do have more oily skin, I would either use this as a moisturizer or go in with a light gel cream before using this product. I'm loving it so far. It hasn't clogged my pores or anything. It does dry down really nice and I'm just enjoying my experience with it. I'm gonna continue using it and then I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next check. Hi everyone, I am back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. What I really enjoyed about this sunscreen is that it says it is a soft touch and claims to be more of a matte sunscreen. And in my opinion, this product was a fairly neutral sunscreen. I feel like if you are more oily, you could just use this as a moisturizer or you could go in with a light gel cream before you use it and it would be a perfect sunscreen for you. But if you do have more dry skin or you're like me and you prefer to have a more hydrating sunscreen, you could go in with a little bit of a heavier moisturizer before this and it still wouldn't be drying and considered a very matte sunscreen. I really love sunscreens like this that are high concentrations of SPF while also being very lightweight and leaving no white cast whatsoever. This is one thing that has drawn me to Korean based sunscreens for a while and I'm glad that Purito has re-released a sunscreen that I feel like really accurately fits how their last sunscreen was. I haven't tried their previous formulation of this product they released least since all of the sunscreen controversy, but I do know that product has titanium dioxide in it, and I'm personally sensitive to that with my acne, so I'm glad that they did release this product. For the price point and the sun protection that I got with this product, and just the amazing finish that it left on the skin, I would 100% recommend trying it. It is so lightweight, and you can pretty much customize your experience that you have with it. I love that this product is a buildable sunscreen. When I reapply it, it's not too heavy on the skin and even though it claims to be a matte product you can kind of control whether you prefer a matte finish or not. That's my favorite type of sunscreen and so for that reason I would 100% recommend trying it. I do see myself repurchasing this product because it is such a great price point and it's just a sunscreen that I found myself wanting to use. But anyway thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.